While the Air Force is preparing to bring in new training aircraft, it's having a harder time finding people. Military recruitment is at an all-time low. The Air and Space Force Association Symposium proje projects about a 10% shortfall this year in the active duty Air Force. The commander of the Columbus Air Force Base joined Columbus City leaders and MUW administrators to discuss recruitment and growth. Our Rosalind Freeman was there at that meeting. She joins us in the studio now with more on what he had to say. Rosalind. Just like MUW relies on recruitment for students, Columbus Air Force Base relies on recruitment for its personnel and pilot trainees. Today, the leaders of the town and tower also welcomed the tarmac for discussions on how the groups can work together to grow all three. I have the best experiences at an Air Force base when I have a good relationship with the community. And a good relationship is something that the 14th Flying Training Wing Commander says will help with long-term solutions like recruiting. Awareness goes a long way. So just understanding that uh, there's an Air Force base out there uh, and that we're normal people doing great things. We enjoy serving. Uh, I think that goes a long way to. And as another generation gears up to enter the workforce, Colonel Greaves says the Air Force want to utilize what students know well to enhance their skills. So we're trying to leverage the phones, the iPads, the technology, and the way the younger generation learns uh, to get after making them better. Colonel Greaves wants to remind community members that industry outside the Air Force is mutually beneficial. Military service may not be for everybody, but there's ways to serve uh, outside of uniform. We have contract maintenance teams uh, that support uh, what we're doing every day to create pilots for America. Greaves says Columbus Air Force Base is gearing up for a new flying simulator to help training incoming recruits this fall. 